Hello students, welcome to Short Offices classes. This is our contact number. You can call or WhatsApp us in this number and also you can visit our website www.shortofficesclasses.com So now let's see what we have in this video. So in this lecture, I'd like to solve some questions on data interpretation and data sufficiency. So let's move to the question. So here we have a table that uh, says here there are some states and there are some years and these are the data of population in lakh so now let's see what we have in our question already we have solved some of the sums on the basis of this table in the previous video so now let's go to the question part so here in this question we have asked which state had the lowest population in 2014 so let's go to the table first so we can screen the data of population so here from the data 2014 population says 75 53 70 50 so till now 50 is the lowest right 68 61 74 77 62 85 so 50 is the lowest so uh, d that state d is the answer now let's go to the options so here the options we have b j d and none of these so clearly option c will be our answer that says state d has the lowest population in 2014 so now let's move to the next question on the basis of that table so here this question is about the population of state i was the lowest in which year so now let's go to the table okay so this is state i and so we have to find out the lowest population uh, in which year state i has so 53 52 55 54 57 56 58 59 60 62 so i think 52 that uh, we have is the lowest one so now let's move to again to the options part so from the table that was clear that the population of state i was the lowest in the year of 2006 and here we have option 2004 2007 2010 and none of this so d will be the option as the answer was 2006 so thank you for watching this video